Welcome, health enthusiasts. Before we dive in, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to spread awareness about important sexual health issues. Today, we're shedding light on sexually transmitted infections, commonly known as STIs. STIs are infections that are passed from one person to another through sexual contact. They come in many forms, but some of the most common include chlamydia, gonorrhea, and human papillomavirus, or HPV. These infections are transmitted through all forms of sexual contact, whether it be vaginal, anal, or oral. That's why it's so important to protect yourself and your partner. Regular testing is a crucial part of this. By knowing your status, you can ensure that you're not unknowingly transmitting an infection to someone else. Open communication with your partner about your sexual health can also play a significant role in preventing STIs. Remember, regular testing and open communication with your partner can help prevent STIs. Next, we'll explore the essential role of contraception in sexual health. Contraception serves a dual purpose. Not only does it aid in family planning by preventing unwanted pregnancies, but it also plays a crucial role in the prevention of sexually transmitted infections or STIs. Now there's a wide array of contraceptive methods available today, each with its own merits. Barrier methods such as condoms and diaphragms act as a physical barricade, preventing sperm from meeting an egg. Hormonal methods like birth control pills, patches and injections control the ovulation cycle, reducing the chances of pregnancy. There are also long-term options like intrauterine devices or sterilization for those seeking a more permanent solution. But remember, not all contraceptives protect against STIs. Condoms are one of the few that do. So it's essential to consider your needs and circumstances before deciding on a method. Choosing the right contraception is a key step in maintaining your sexual health. Now, let's discuss the importance of regular health checkups in maintaining good sexual health. Just as you would service your car to keep it running smoothly, your body too requires regular servicing to ensure optimal health. Regular checkups play a pivotal role in this process by helping detect any sexual health issues early on. These checkups are not just about finding problems, but they're also about creating an open dialogue with your healthcare provider. This dialogue fosters a better understanding of your body and its needs. So how often should you go for these checkups? Well, it varies from person to person, but generally it's recommended to have a checkup at least once a year. Remember, the ultimate goal here is prevention. Early detection of any potential issues can significantly improve treatment outcomes. So, don't wait until something feels off. Regular checkups are your best defense against sexual health issues. Ever wondered about the connection between your mental and sexual health? Well, you're about to find out. Mental health plays a significant role in our sexual health. It's like the unseen puppeteer behind the curtain pulling the strings. When our mental health is in balance, it can positively influence our sexual health. But when it's not, it can lead to a host of issues. Stress, anxiety, and depression are three common mental health conditions that can directly impact our sexual health. Stress can lead to a decrease in sexual desire and performance. Anxiety can trigger fears or worries related to sexual encounters, creating a cycle of avoidance. Depression, on the other hand, can dampen sexual desire and make it difficult to find pleasure in activities once enjoyed. Remember, a healthy mind contributes to a healthy sexual life. If you're enjoying this content, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And finally, we'll discuss the significance of sexual education in promoting good sexual health. A cornerstone of maintaining good sexual health, sexual education equips individuals with the knowledge and understanding they need to make informed decisions about their sexual health. It is not just about the biology of reproduction, but also about building an understanding of consent, healthy relationships, and the importance of regular health checks. Comprehensive sexual education can help debunk myths and misconceptions, reducing stigma and fear. It can also foster an environment where open and healthy discussions about sex are normalized, promoting preventive behavior and reducing the risk of sexual health issues. It's crucial to remember that sexual education is an ongoing process, evolving as we grow and our understanding deepens. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to sexual health. If you've learned something useful today, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.